Are we on? Yes, we're we on. are on. Hi everyone, welcome to Amanda Adams Auctions. Uh, preview for the first auction for the year for February the 12th on uh, Sunday 11am and we are going around to show you what's in the auction, give you a highlights of the auction and remember the viewing for this auction will be Saturday the 11th from 11am to 4pm at our new auction rooms at 479 North Road Ormond 479 North Road Ormond and remember all the catalogue photos will be online on aaauctions.com.au and also online on Invaluable. So let's have a walk around. We've got various estates in the auction and we have got some really interesting items throughout the old auction. One of the highlights is one that's been consigned from an estate in Mount Eliza is the rare work by William Dobell, uh, self-portrait number one, painted in 1966, part of the uh, Fairfax collection until 2002. Beautiful little oil, very low estimates, price to sell. And we'll show you some things from another estate in uh, Bow Morris. One of the works here is a lovely little early Rupert Bunny. Uh, this one's one of the French scenes, little oil on board, or might even gouache on board, but I think it might be more oil on board. Lots of interesting Australian pottery, lots of interesting European uh, ceramics, lots of silver in the auction, jewellery. We'll walk around and just show you some of the other highlights in the first room anyhow. Can you see me okay here? Yes. This is perfect. stunning. This is by Philippe, uh, Art Deco French bronze uh, from about 1925-1930. Let's see if I can show you a close-up. Can you get a good close-up on it? Yes, it's this is beautiful. Coming. Beautiful, lovely conditions. This is coming from the estate in Beaumaris. Stunning work. Stunning work. Very Let's see impressive. If I can put it back here in there carefully. And we'll walk across to this room. There's another one. And it's probably even better still. Lovely work by Shaparis. Yeah, see that. This is beautiful. Fully signed Shaparis, Eckling, France. This is a 1920s piece. Can you get a close up on that or it's hard to do that? Yeah. Look at the condition of that. Look at and fully and fully how old signed. Is this one? About 1925-1930. Beautiful little Shaparis bronze. Very Not often you get a original, genuine Shaparis bronze. This is a genuine piece from the late twenties. Lots of Lalique in the auction including uh, this little red dorsay, little uh, opalescent top, powder puff top. In this cabinet, some beautiful things here. A beautiful uh, Viennese enamel and silver figure. This one's from the last quarter of the 19th century. Beautiful little rare Bendigo pottery tobacco jar from probably the turn of the century or late 19th century. Some lovely miniatures, lots of watches, lots of estate jewellery in the auction. Perfume bottles all over the place. Lots of uh, very nice art glass. Includes Murano, Costa Boda, a rare piece of Lalique from the Morris collection. Beautiful piece. Opalescent from the 1920s. Okay, let's walk around. We'll show you some more things along the auction room. We'll just walk this way. Beautiful French vitrine from turn of the century, also from the Beaumaris property. And uh, some Worcester in there, uh, some Moser glass, Dresden, uh, Webb glass in there. And how about the painting on the top? Is this is a massive work by Bill Bevan from 1973. Substantial work. That it's massive it's too. It's called Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. And it's about 90 by 120. Lovely work. Let's show you some more things in this cabinet. Some lovely ceramics, lovely glass pieces from the 19th century, early 20th century. Uh, and this one's interesting too. This has also come from the property in Bone Morris. 
where it could be in this to Carla Bugatti. This is a bronze horn, vellum, lovely piece. Look at the Look at the castings of the bronze here, if you can get a close-up. That's really fascinating and piece. It's a beautiful piece. Never seen another one like this before. And just the construction of it indicates it's probably by Carlo Bugatti. So we'll put this away. All the estimates are low in the auction. They're there to sell, so you can't don't miss out. So we're going to probably walk up here or show you some of the silver and the uh, Australian pottery bits there. Probably just film along there. And we have nice bronzes in the oh, auction lots too. Lots of bronzes, about 30 bronzes, lots of garden statues as well. Let's walk this way. We'll have a look at some more things in here. Besides things in the auction room, we also have things in properties in Caulfield, and also in Brighton, there's a whole collection of French antique furniture in Brighton and in the Caulfield property, there's, be careful, don't step backwards, in the Caulfield property, uh, property there's a collection of Jacob Brodowski furniture with, and beautiful furniture, when you, when you see all, all the photos you'll see it's amazing lounge and dining room furniture and that's all to be sold as well, that we picked up after the auction once it's sold from Caulfield and Brighton. Because Collectible wines as well here. And how about this panel? It's That's beautiful. Sensational. This look, one. look at the inlay on this. This is not your typical mass produced piece. This is an individually handmade piece. And it's huge. Good show. I know something that's not worth a lot of money. We should show it. But I think this is really sensational and rare. This uh, rare uh, late 19th century cricket photograph. I'm not sure what the team is. Are you getting a reasonable shot on that? Oh, good. I'm not sure who it's who it is of. There's eight players for, or seven players photographed in a beautiful uh, chip car frame, original frame. I think this is sensational. So whoever finds out what uh, who which team it is, I think that'll. That's a very historical piece. I'm going to show little things like this too that have come in. This is also coming from my eyes. Look at this beauty case. Look at the colour of it. Sensational colour. Art Deco. And fully fitted inside as well. Totally original. So uh, there's things for all tastes and all prices here at the auction. We've got uh, interesting uh, mint coats as well from the same property. Okay, let's put these up. Let's see what else there is in the room here. Lots of silver throughout the whole auction. Lots of interesting glass. Let's walk up this way. And see things in the cabinet here. Oh, this is, this is rare too. In this room here, this is a shop display. Oh, yeah. This has be, uh, been... Never the, seen one before. Never seen one here before. This has been uh, consigned by St Mark's. Uh, church in Collingwood. Lots of charities can sign things in the auction room as well. Where was it? Oh, that was the Clifton Pew along here. Better show that one too. That's in the same property, uh, the Clifton Pew. Uh, we've got uh, Robert Grieve artworks as well. Uh, about three of them from the same property. This is just a little one, but we've got a little oil as well. Alcohol related uh, items as well from the estate in uh, Ivanhoe. Beautiful Georgian pieces as well in the auction room uh, from the same property in Beaumaris. In fact, the Beaumaris uh, property has over 170 lots in the auction. So there's a lot of items in the auction from Beaumaris. Very interesting piece too. Very interesting. It's come from the family and also from uh, previous family members as well. Shall we walk through to the back room or we continue? We continue. Let's continue. Let's show the mink. We got the some mink. The mink coats. Mink coats. Mink jackets. And we got some carpet. There, lots of rugs. Yeah, rugs and Persian rugs. This is the back room. This is where we start the auction. I won't answer that phone. 
I don't think it's right to answer the phone in the middle of doing a video. <laughs> and more bronzes here. More bronzes here, more alcohol related items. Lots of watches in the auction as well. And even outside. Well, I think we should show the uh, Georgian, uh, Georgian Regency table yeah, and chairs could... outside. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Let the people have a look at this. Outside, we have a early eight, uh, uh, 19th century mahogany table and chairs, Regency one. Eight chairs. Eight chairs. We have a little girl here that's not in the auction, <laughs> but we won't film her. Uh, we've got saddle rugs, horse rugs, uh, there's quite a few garden statues in the back as well. In fact, this is probably not a bad place to finish off here. So don't forget, uh, have a look at the website, aaauctions.com.au. Make sure you, uh, you have a look, it'll be all up two weeks before the auction. Any queries from Australia or overseas, email us and we'll answer your queries. Any condition reports, Otherwise, if you're in Melbourne, come to the viewing on Saturday, the 11th of February, 11am to 4pm. We'll see you at the auction. We'll see you then. Bye.